Hey everyone, welcome back to another MacBook Pro gaming video, and today we're going to take a look at something a little bit different. After seeing the new Zelda and Mario Kart games on the Nintendo Switch, I started wondering if my MacBook would be able to emulate some of the older Nintendo systems. Any games from the Nintendo 64 or older should be able to run on pretty much any computer made in the last 10 years. So what I'm most interested in is seeing how this computer handles games from the GameCube, Wii, and Wii U. Since the new Zelda Breath of the Wild and Mario Kart 8 are both available on the Wii U, it could be possible to play them on the MacBook Pro. So let's take a look at some emulators running on the MacBook Pro, starting with the GameCube and working our way up to the Wii U. The game you're watching right now is Super Mario Sunshine, running on the Dolphin emulator on Mac OS. This is one of the oldest games I took a look at, so it's no surprise that it's running extremely well on this computer. What you probably can't tell from watching the video is that I'm running this at 1440p, which looks amazing on the MacBook Pro's display. And because the game is so old, it doesn't really suffer any performance drops from raising up the resolution. Now here's another classic GameCube game, Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Now this game has been re-released more recently on the Wii U, but this is the original GameCube version. Again, I'm running this at 1440p because there doesn't seem to be any performance impact at all. The game seems to be pretty much locked to 30 frames per second, at least on this emulator, but it holds that pretty steady the entire time. Running this game at such a high resolution again looks really good, probably even better than the Mario game because of the more simple shaded graphics. It really pops on the new MacBook Pro's screen. So it's safe to say that pretty much every GameCube game is playable, but how about Wii games? Aside from the obvious problem of needing a Wii remote to actually play most of these games, the Dolphin emulator handles them really well on Mac OS. The best game I could find to show off performance was Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Now, this game is supposed to hold a solid 60 frames per second, and as you can see, the MacBook pretty much keeps it at that level. This game is running at 1080p, so it also looks quite a bit better than the original running on the Wii. One thing worth noting is that compatibility for Wii games is a bit lower than GameCube games. Pretty much every GameCube game I tried worked perfectly, but Wii games were kind of hit and miss and I had to adjust some settings sometimes to get them running properly. Still, as you can see with Smash Brothers, when games run, they run very well. And I can say the same for games like Super Mario Galaxy and Metroid Prime. They both run just as well as this game does. Overall, I think it's safe to say that this MacBook Pro has no problem running any of the Wii games that you'd want to play on it. If you're wondering whether or not a game's compatible with the Dolphin emulator, I'll include a link in the description to a compatibility list so you can see if the game you're looking for actually works. Alright, now let's take a look at Nintendo's second newest gaming console, the Wii U. The emulator I'm using here is called Simu. It's running on Windows 10 and it's a fairly new emulator, but it's actually very impressive for the games it is able to play and for how fast the developers are updating it. The game you're seeing here is Super Mario 3D World and it came out on the Wii U about three years ago. The game's running at the native resolution of the Wii U, which I think is somewhere around 720p. I couldn't get a frame rate counter on the screen, but it's running at a pretty solid 30 frames per second. The lowest I ever saw drop was about 25, and you don't even really notice it in the gameplay. One thing you might be able to notice is that there's some areas where the sound is a little bit staticky. I think this has to do with the hard drive that I'm running it off of. Since I'm running this off of an external hard drive instead of the internal drive on the Mac, it seems to have an odd hiccup every now and then. I know this is a problem playing on other machines as well, and it seems to be more to do with how the emulator runs than this actual computer that it's running on. I've had the same sound and graphics hiccups running on a much more powerful desktop PC, and I assume that some of these problems will be ironed out as this emulator matures. Still, for the most part, this older Wii U game is completely playable right from start to finish on this machine, and it's actually pretty enjoyable. Okay, and now let's take a look at one of the newer games running on Simu. This is Mario Kart 8, the same game that just got released for the Switch, although this is the original version that came out about three years ago. Now, full disclosure, the game did not run this well the first time I tried to play it. That was mostly because of a problem with Simu itself, where it has to cache a bunch of files the first time you run through a racetrack in this game. So I ran this race a second time, and as you can see, it's quite smooth. The first time there's a lot more stuttering happening. 
The good news is that once the initial shader caching is done, the game runs very smooth every time you go back to play it again. You just have to put up with it for the first couple times that you run through each track. You can see a few momentary stutters every now and then when the game frees us up for a split second. I read online and this again seems to be due to the fact that I'm running it off an external hard drive rather than the much faster internal storage. This is pretty much the first time I'm trying any of these games on an emulator, so there's a lot of tweaking that you can do to get them to run better. The one thing I didn't notice in this game that I did in the previous Mario game is that there's no stuttering or staticky sound in this one. It seems to be very crisp and clear. It seems that each game running in Simu has its own different set of glitches and issues. I'm going to include a link in the description below to the compatibility list for this emulator as well to give you a better idea of what runs and how it runs. And finally, the last game we're going to look at is the brand new release Zelda Breath of the Wild. This game just came out for the Switch and Wii U in March of this year. And unfortunately, that means that the CMU devs have not had a lot of time to work with this game. As you can see, it's not at all playable on this computer. The frame rate hovers somewhere between 5 and 10, and there's a lot of stutters, not to mention that the graphics look terrible. Shaders are in the wrong places, there's lines throughout the environment that shouldn't be there, and the lighting is all wrong as well. It's worth noting that the CMU emulator doesn't officially support Intel graphics, so that's part of the problem here. The bigger reason for the performance issues, though, is that the game is just too new. The developers have only had their hands on it for a couple months, and they've barely scratched the surface. The work that they have done since this game came out in March has been amazing, though. This game was completely unplayable just a couple months ago. It wouldn't even load. And while the video clip in front of you might not look like much, the game actually runs pretty reasonably on a desktop gaming PC. With the right amount of time, I think that emulator developers should be able to get this game much more optimized, and it actually should run quite well on this machine in the next few months. So this is kind of an anticlimactic ending to this video, showing you a game that's not really playable, but I do think it's pretty incredible that this is a game that was released for a completely different system just a couple months ago, and it's running on this hardware. I also thought it was quite nice that I could run the Wii and the GameCube games under Mac OS. It's nice not having to boot into Windows to play all my games. So if you're looking to play some Nintendo games, this laptop is capable of emulating pretty much any system from the Wii and older, and even a few of the Wii U titles that came out in the last few years. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different than the other ones I did since these aren't actual computer games, but rather emulated games. If you've tried out any other emulators on the 2016 MacBook Pro, I'd be really interested to hear your experience. Let me know in the comments what game you tried and how it performed. As always, thanks for watching.